Hi guys, it's Ashley. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me for another video today. Hope you're all doing very well and having a great week. Today I'll be sharing a Chanel unboxing with you guys. If you'd like to see what I got, keep watching. <laughs> So as I said, today will be a special unboxing by Chanel. I would like to apologize for my absence. I know it's been about two months since I last made a video, and I'm sure you guys can understand that summertime is just pretty busy. Of course, the kids are off school, we went on vacation, we're doing a lot of parks and things to that nature. So now that school is back in session, you will be seeing more of me. So again, I just want to apologize that it has been so long, but I appreciate all you guys' support, both here on YouTube and on Instagram. So let's get started with the unboxing. So all I have done here is I did cut the box just to kind of save some time if you will because there was an awful lot of tape on here. So as I had already said this item is from Chanel. So I will just open up like so so you can see what I am seeing. And very very nice of my sales associate like he included a nice large Chanel shopping bag so very wonderful and then this is the next section that I'm seeing so I have my booklet here and I believe inside of here is the um, the cloth to wipe the bag so we have that and then we have the lovely Chanel sticker there and the tissue, so I'll just go ahead and unwrap this. Okay. Oh my goodness. So let me just go ahead and take this out, guys. The bubble wrap. Everybody loves some good bubble wrap, right? Oh my gosh. And take the bubble wrap. And the box out here okay so this is what I am seeing so here is my receipt and I can I'd be happy to go over the pricing with you guys if you would like as you guys know I usually don't mention pricing in my videos I feel that if it's a bag that you're on the market for you're familiar with the pricing so I choose to leave it out just to uh, curb some of the drama if you will but happy to share it if you guys would like so, again, the beautiful camellia, the Chanel ribbon. This is the painful part. I, I hate to take these things off. The packaging is just so nice. Oh, my gosh. Okay. It must be done because I really, really want to see the bag. So, we'll just stick this guy back on here. All right. So, we have the box. And, okay, I see here. They have it taped along the side, so I'm looking, I'm like, what do they do with my scissors? But they are just out of reach. So while I'm doing this, I'll explain the story a little bit behind this. Um, this is a bag that has been on my radar for a little while now. And, um, you know, within the last month, month and a half, I really decided, yes, this is a bag that I, I do want to pursue and I want. However, it was very, very difficult to find. So, um, huge shout out to my sales associate. He is absolutely wonderful. He found me, um, what he says is one of the last two of this item um, left in the U.S. So, let's go ahead and pull out the tissue. Okay. We have the dust bag and my apologies. This is my um, care booklet and everything here. Okay, guys, any guesses? I know a few of my friends do know what this item is, but if anybody has any guesses, now would be the time. Okay. Let's just this. Any guesses now? Any guesses now? I'm sure you guys know. Okay, if this isn't a giveaway, I don't know what is. So let's remove the felt here. Oopsie. Oh, how darling. Okay, let's see 
let's remove this last piece here. Oh, wow. So, I present to you guys the newest addition to my Chanel family. This is the gorgeous Chanel Coco Handle in size small, and it is the Black Caviar Ruthenium Hardware, which is the Ruthenium Hardware and Caviar are the only combination available with this bag at this time. Um, however, I do know when I was searching for this piece and it was starting to appear that I wasn't going to find one, um, I did find out and I did get on a reserve list that this bag will be coming out either in September or October and there will be some more variations. I believe, um, I want to say they're going to do calf skin and um, Sam at um, Snape HBP had said that they were going to do some type of different leather or texture uh, as well. So, anyway, go ahead and unwrap the handle here. I'm so excited. It's absolutely gorgeous. It's just such a perfect bag. Okay, this is packaged very beautifully. Okay, now we are cooking. Okay, wow, packaged very, very well. So there's this last little section, I'll leave that for now. So, again, here she is. So some details here. As you can see, there is a very beautiful shine to the caviar. The ruthenium hardware, and there is a very small little Chanel displayed there with an emblem. You guys probably won't be able to pick that up on the camera. And of course, the ruthenium hardware is gorgeous as always. I absolutely love the top handle. Very substantial, very sturdy, well made. The side shot, which this is a squishier bag. Of course, it's not um, not as structured as a classic flap, if you will. Um, but I do agree again. Another shout out to Sam that she had mentioned because I was originally considering the medium, but it seems as if the small would probably do the best structural wise because. Of course, there is less material, and it does seem more proportioned. So uh, when she had made that comment, she kind of sold me to decide to go with the small. But they do have this bag in mini this last season. That was a, a new size. So they have mini, small, medium, and large. And then I know they have, they have the black, they have beige, and navy. I'm trying to think if there were any other colors. I have seen like a reddish maroon type color as well. So, and then of course you can get uh, exotic prints. You can get, I believe it's a li lizard handle. Um, so lots of different variations. So continuing on, this is a chatty video because you could tell it's been so long since I've been on here with you guys. Here is the beautiful pocket on the back. And then I will hold this up. This is the, um, the style number. I'll hold this up so you guys can pause if you are interested. Okay. And then as you can see, I do have the long strap as well. And this was the last little piece that was left wrapped. So I'll try to hurry up and unwrap that because next time I know not to ditch my scissors so soon. But... Yes, this bag, as far as what it holds, it's pretty comparable to the Jumbo, which is really the perfect size for me. Um, to hold it next to the medium large flap, it's pretty comparable as far as, you know, the exterior size. It's a little bigger than the medium large, but uh, because it is a lot wider, it does hold more. So, so now we have full detail here on the long strap. It has this very nice leather break, which everybody has said in their reviews, very, very comfortable. And then, of course, the leather entwined strap with the ruthenium hardware. And then since this is from this past season, mine does have the removable strap. So as you can see here, there is a small little oh, metal section, if you will, and then the clasp that just opens like so. Okay, the turn lock that I absolutely love. And let's go ahead and remove the stuffing for you guys. And I really enjoy the interior layout to this bag. I think it's actually pretty genius. So, my goodness, even more tissue paper. I keep that nearby because this is a bag that will need to remain stuffed. Um, similar to my bag of the day back there, my chain around maxi. Um, it is a more of a smushy bag, but. Um, this bag definitely has more structure than the chain around. 
So here's an inside shot. So as you can see, there is a front compartment. This is the biggest compartment of the bag. And then there are a few slip pockets. There are two large slip pockets and then a lipstick pocket, if you guys can see. And then there is also a back larger compartment. And then you have this nice zipped compartment as well. And then I'll see if you guys can see the, um, the Chanel stamp there. And then the sticker is way, way down in this far corner here. There's probably no chance in seeing it, but just so you guys are aware of where it is. And then there is also a back zipped pocket, which is very nice um, for you know small items you may have. And inside of there, I have my authenticity card. So yeah, I think uh, I think this bag is honestly great. Uh, it's a great price point. Um, very beautiful, just different, if you will. It's it's similar to the you know the classic Chanel esque design, if you will, but it's different at the same time. And I feel that this is a bag that can be dressed up, dressed down. It can carry you through the day and the evening. I feel that the top handle is a nice, elegant look. However, the long strap, you know, of course, provides uh, a lot of adversity. You can wear it on the shoulder, and you can also wear it crossbody. So if you guys would like any more details or a review of what's in my bag, whatever you guys would like, please let me know in the comments down below. I'd be happy to do that for you. Um, I just like to use a bag for at least a couple weeks before I, you know, begin to comment on it. So I would be happy to do that. There are some videos on this bag on YouTube, but not a whole, whole lot. So I do plan to do some type of video regarding this bag. So if you guys, you know, have any particular requests, please let me know. I would also like to briefly touch on a subject that has been addressed time and time again. My uh, ever-growing love for Chanel and the further steps away I seem to be taking from Louis Vuitton. For me, again guys, it's really just a timing thing. I'm not thrilled with many of the things that Louis Vuitton has out right now. It's just not my style. Um, you know, I know a lot of people love it, but it's just, it's not you know, what I think when I hear, see, or say Louis Vuitton. So all of this kind of came at a good time, if you will, my, um, you know, my Chanel addiction. And because I was so exclusive to Louis Vuitton for the longest time, that was basically the only brand for small leather goods and handbags that I used, I felt that it was justifiable, if you will, to have a larger collection. Now that I am moving in the direction of Chanel, I, I don't really find that so appropriate. So you'll notice that when a Chanel bag is coming in, a Louis Vuitton bag um, usually does go out. And same with small leather goods, etc. So sometimes when you guys see a sale pop up, you could probably say, oh boy, she's on the market for another piece. So um, with that being said, I do have a few items still available on my Instagram account. Uh, I would be happy to do a vlog sale if you guys would like. Again, now that school's back in session and I would have the time. Um, but I have a few handbags and some small other goods available. Um, if, anybody if anybody is interested, I'll leave the link for my Instagram account down below. Thank you guys so much for taking the time to watch this video as I unbox my new beauty, my beautiful Chanel Coco handle. So thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye.